and welcome to a short Etonian video, one that's been requested by a viewer who um, wants to see what my settings are for playing Eternium. Um, I'll try and explain some of the reasons for some of the things as we go through these. So, in settings, um, game resolution full, definitely want that for PC. Um, not only does it make the game blurry, and unreadable if you set it to lower than full uh, there's an ancient bug that's never been fixed uh, if you're not on full uh, resolution let's say we want to attack a larian up here uh, oh we're attacking in completely the wrong direction uh, it always seems to attack down in this direction uh, that'll also be on low resolution as well it will attack roughly in the right direction if you're attacking down there but total rubbish so definitely want to be able to see what's going on and also attack where you're aiming so keep that on full um, immersive mode I have that switched off I like to see all the interface but we can switch off so we've just got a mini map and you can switch off the full HUD so we don't see the skills either I prefer to have uh, everything on view distance maximum I like to be able to see as much as possible uh, 3d creature limit I have switched right down to 0% just to try and improve in performance especially since we've got this pushed all the way up and I have a potato PC um, similarly because I have a bit of a rubbish PC ambience and weather switched off don't want extra effects going on on screen and terrain resolution we have that as low as well uh, music have that switched off uh, low sound effects and low hero volume and how often it talks um, as far as general other settings I have the smart crafting assistant switched off um, I don't like crafting systems if you're drilling down through the menus if that's switched on it starts preserving uh, crafting materials and uh, you, it makes it look like you haven't got enough materials when you probably have uh, so I just switch that off it's personal preference uh, guide arrows on the ground I have that switched off I've played story more than enough times to know exactly where everything is so I don't need to have that switched on um, if you're new to the game that might help you having that switched on so it help guide you to where you need to go within the story um, pulsating inventory items I've got that switched off that just has things flashing in your inventory if they're better than items that you've got that you can equip uh, so again that's personal preference if you want that on or off floating numbers I've got that switched on purely because I have people quite often ask if they can see the damage that's going out from a character when I'm running trolls I prefer having it off because um, it's easier to see arrows coming out of packs of mobs with that off uh, if it's switched on they can be harder to see but I've got that switched on uh, exp bar text on if we switch that off then we can't see how much experience we are and how much there is for the complete level so nice to have that on it tells us exactly how much to go um, next two settings I've got this as a bit of a compromise setting if you're playing on mobile um, it's probably better to switch both of these off resume auto attack after moving I have that switched off I don't want to start attacking my last target as soon as I've moved um, and start auto attacking after casting an ability I have that switched on um, on mobile particularly on the mob phase it's probably easier to control your character if you have both of those switched off um, but then when it comes to the boss it's probably better to have them both switched on um, I just go for a compromise because I don't like breaking up gameplay and sort of clearing the mob phase and then pausing the game to come into settings and start changing things uh, so I go with a compromise I won't start attacking again after repositioning but I will start attacking after casting one of my abilities um, 
another personal preference abilities queue off so if you cast an ability during a global cooldown then it can just queue and cast automatically once global cooldown is finished um, I just don't bother with that so I've got that switched off personal preference display item level have that switched on I like to see what level items are in my inventory and equipped on the character switch it off and it won't show you that uh, gestures off on PC we can have it so you can draw symbols with a mouse why would you want to do that um, and then finally I have multi core switched on to try and improve performance and I have frame rate switched off because I really don't want to see just how bad the game is running on the PC um, so that's about it for this video um, any questions or comments feel free to put them down below and thank you very much for watching